Welcome into the stream, everybody. We are live with round two of the March Ancients Tournament. Both parties here coming off of a loss round one. We have Caitlin the Free taking on Iceman running Rathra Dak. Friend of the stream, been on the show a few times. Uh, welcome in. How are you doing? Not too bad. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. Hoping for a, a slightly better showing than game one uh, for those who did watch the stream or the VOD. Things got real interesting right at the end of it there. But outside of that, it was a pretty rough match. And I know, I believe you played uh, Chris round one, right? Yeah. I didn't get a chance to watch that. How, uh, aside from a loss, how did things go for you? Oh, this is a silly deck and it just didn't work. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, this is also a silly deck that didn't work out. So it should be a fun matchup. And Gracchus starting off the stream with a sub. Thank you, Gracchus. But I'm ready to get this show on the road if you are. Cool. All right. Good luck, man. You have the field. I sure do. Hmm. Let's throw a Blood and Bone onto Caitlyn. Okay. Let's see how Surge can handle the dust. DC sure. 18. Surge is sad. All right. Gonna go get the obvious choice. Pulling out a card grip. Yep. Makes sense. Let's go ahead and use Caitlyn's ability. Discard. Couple cards. Okay. Um, I'm I going... need to decide on the other one to discard. Yep. Hmm. It's got to be that. Okay, any reacts? Okay. Yep, I've got Back Alley Tavern. Okay. Draw two. And that is all. Okay. We will grab a Transference and get that into hand. Okay. We're going to see how Surge handles another dust. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, that could be a problem. Shoot. <clears throat> that's the uh, that's the only reason why I run Artac, in case I get two of those open in hand. <laughs> Oh, that's okay. A, a silly idea running a that's the, that as my second character instead of something useful. Sure. Like a night yeah. after or something like that. All right. Well, that's pretty rough. Let's swing with a Brian, I guess. Okay. No. Uh, little card dragon draw. Mm hmm. Let's final power on the card, Greg. Go for it. That'll hit. There Can't roll like that number. on the dust. <laughs> Back in January, I had... Was it January? No, it's been league games. I've had such bad luck with, uh, with the dust. Yeah, I don't usually run it just because... Like, some of those staple cards, like Dust and Mourn Jackals especially, I just have terrible luck with them. Everybody else has such good luck. It's like, fine, mm -hmm. you you deal with it. <laughs> Got another car, Greg. Let's swing on that, too. Okay. All right. Yep. There we go. Um, let's put out Torn. I will pass. Um, I will put 
about Sethos. I will pass. We'll play for all. We will react to jump up. Okay. 10 AC. Let's swing on a Gunda. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, well, I know what I should do, but I'm really, I'm really feeling saucy. So <laughs> let's see it. I'm gonna, use, I'm gonna use Torin. Okay. And I'm gonna pitch jackals to Torin. Oh, that's really saucy. I have no reacts to Torn. Okay. Um... <clears throat> if they had a uh, mistake pitching Lennox instead of another card in hand, I just was not anticipating the double dust to dust. Yeah, yeah. That was... And I... <laughs> I, I think I got that off of the back alley. Oh, shoot. Uh, oh, is it still me? Yeah, yep. I'll, I will pass. Okay. Uh, Temple of Lore. Very nice. Pass again. I have a giant bat. Ooh. I'll pass. You know what? No, I will not. No, I will not. I see 17, and you have stealth. I see it's 21, because I have Temple of Lore. Oh, right, T-O-L. Yeah, yeah. Let's use transference to spend the bat. Order, spend an item. Okay. I didn't realize that was the other thing transference. The to lesser do. used function of it. Yeah, yeah. All right, fine. Mess with my very stupidly laid plans. <laughs> <laughs> um, We're I'll well past that. What's that? I said we're well past messing with people's plans. <laughs> Actually, let me think about this. Um, yeah. Yeah. We'll swing with Gunda on okay. Brian. Yeah, sure thing. Let's pull a charge from Blood and Bone and take a shot at Temple of Lore. Yep. No. Uh, we will sacrifice the gun there for two charges. Sure. Let's take another Thank shot you. at TOL. Yep. No. Uh, wounded Gunda, or wounded, wounded Brian Fiend. Yeah. Plus three. Last charge at TOL. Uh huh. There There's an even. Uh, for all para not ones. Yep. And on the same. Got him. I will pass out here. See if you can at least put one more wound on that, Brian. What's the worst thing happen? We'll meet at the end. Okay. It's fiery bolts at Temple of Lore. That is uh, pretty worst that could happen. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll swing the game in my favor now. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna play for all and not react. Okay, I will once again pass out so you can just play. All right, uh, Gunda will swing. Um, I will. Then for all forward. Then Torin forward. <clears throat> and then I will 
Heat for all for seven charges. Our attack will react to becoming stunned to shoot the brain through. How interesting, because it's before it becomes stunned, so it shoots from rank two. Yep. All right. Uh, speaking of twos, let's go to game two. Okay. <laughs> Nicely done. Yeah, all in the power of DC saves, because that transference on Surge first turn is really dangerous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if, if one of those Surges makes it, uh, yeah, that transference, Blood and Bone got at least a level 5 coming. Yep. That is the danger with Surge, though. Yes, yeah. You run up against somebody running Loric or something like that, you're just going to get smushed. Yep. And I do have some countermeasures for that in here. Just have to, you know, draw them at the same time. As yeah. <laughs> said, measures are put in place. Come on, Surge, you want your charges. There we go. Okay. Ten. I have a four. All you. All right, let's uh, card dragon draw. Sure. Hmm. Let's see here. A couple courses of action we could take. Not seeing dust to dust. First action is nice. That's the move. Lennox. Okay. Um, let's have Kargrag swing across. Please charge. Okay. Didn't he? I was feeling a three coming. <laughs> Fair enough. Cargreg does have a lower attack than Gunda, so the math checks out. Let's use Caitlin's order. Yep. <laughs> Final Rage and Barrel White. Very nice. Always <laughs> fun to see those in the discard. That's right. Got to run something to get some value down there. Mm-hmm. We'll go get and immediately cast a transference. Slide two of those surge charges over to Lennox. Okay. Half thinking you're going to go the other way. Can't. Oh, okay. Card in this rank. Yeah. That's right. Okay. So it is back to you. Yep. Uh let's take out that wounded Gunda. <laughs> I keep saying <laughs> the wrong thing. The wounded Brian Fiend. Look, if you want to take out the Gundas, I'm not gonna fight you about it. <laughs> My dice know what I'm doing. And too bad you weren't able to pop a charge there. Overkill with that 20. 
Let's swing on the spent gunda. Okay. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> and I'll spend my action getting the charge. Sure. I will pass. Uh, drop out brawl. Have them pop forward. Sure thing. Let's swing on car, Greg. Yeah. That'll get him. Let's do jackal. Aw, cute. I will pass. Jackal to order up. Mm -hmm. well, let's pass again. Bokos. Bokos. Oh, the uh, loyalties reward guy. Okay, I will pass. Yep. Bokos forward. Let's pass again. Sathos. Oh, nice. I will pass. <laughs> yeah, it's a big pile of characters. We use Sathos. Yeah. Yep. You can keep playing. That's all good. All right. Car dragon draw. Top deck from the sack. Oh. That's sad. I'm going to have to loyalty the reward without using Bokos. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to set up to sacrifice Sethos. I feel so sorry for you. Yeah, I know. I know. This is tragic. <laughs> Come on. Draw two. There we go. Whenever untap uh, allows it. Yeah. Uh, I will equip a black steel dagger. Oh, oh, oh. Pokey. Um, and then we'll have Cargrag swing on Prime Fiend and use a charge. Okay. <laughs> All right. Still pass? Yes, sir. Okay. I don't imagine there's a lot you can do because you can't play cards from your hand, but I, Exactly. Yeah. At some point you could always pop surge for two for two <laughs> points getting that. Actually, no, you really can't do that. Yeah, I can. Well, you'd have to you'd have to do it after moving Lennox forward. No, it's uh before illegal ranks. Oh, you're right. Okay. Yeah, before illegal. Um, all right. Uh, swing on wounded. Mm -hmm. I've seen your no charges come up. And then we will swing on surge and use the charge. Plus 10. Now we will do just that. So we'll have Surge fall forward, and we will turn him into a Dragon's Lair. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, we'll have Feral go twice on the Brine Fiend, I guess. Yeah, I'll go Brine Fiend. Oh, goodness. I got a miss. Finally rolled a two. <laughs> and again. I am back to passing. Yep. Sacrifice for the four charges. Swing on Brine. It probably should have used a charge, but I just I didn't think about that. Um we're gonna have six chops. If you win, 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. exactly. Send up four Dragon's Lair, burn a charge. Ooh, good idea on the charge. 11? Yeah, seriously. Yeah. If I hadn't had that one two, I would have run out. I would have run out exactly out of pit turn. Um, I know. I counted it, and I didn't like the odds. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have rack step backwards and fall up or attack is a team okay no react just setting them up in case my ranks collapse next turn mm -hmm. i will pass i will also pass probably a poor choice playing lennox but i figured uh, it it could really change the the course of this turn it possibly could yeah it all depended on what else you were holding i mean a transference eh. a mantle like i could have put four charges from lennox onto surge um or i guess three yes. but uh yeah four something well, like that but i was just worried you were gonna dust to dust once i got six charges on and then it's a waste <laughs> I think I don't think we're gonna... So last game the goofy thing I was trying to do with my giant bat was Secrets of the Suns. Oh my gosh. I was that's why I kept everyone ready and didn't react with the one for all and so forth. I was going to speed forward and then immediately use the <laughs> the Secrets of the Suns and just swing at everybody. That's hilarious. I just realized last turn I forgot the uh, Barrow White in the discard. Whoopsie daisy. Oh, that's true. Yeah, could have taken a poke somewhere. Yeah, maybe take a Gunda or a Jackals out, something like that. Yep, decent shot at the Jackals. All right, uh, I have a five for initiative. You got it. All right, let's see what Lennox can do. Yep. So first strike, got to go Jackals, takes two strikes off the board. No. Second strike, gotta be Jackals. Uh-oh, flip a coin. Crap. I have never had to do the flip a coin thing, but I will for uh, double ones. Yeah. Third strike, gotta be Jackals. Yikes, fourth Invisible. strike. Fourth strike, Jackals. So this is why I hate Jackals. This is how I roll against it, and when I play it, I blink it up, and my opponent's like, even, even, even. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what are we on? One, two, three. So fifth strike. I'm in too deep. Let's go jackals. Wow. Jeez. I want to kill something. We'll go car Greg. This will be even too. Oh, it wasn't, but we no, got, got car Greg. Wow. Um, I do. Well, I was gonna do something different, but yeah, no, we'll still do it. Dust to dust on Dragon Blair. Okay. That mighty zero skill. Let's see, level twos? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. We'll go get ourselves a Temple of Lore. Sure, why not? <clears throat> Throw down a Kale Rowan. That's useful. Um, let's swing on him before he gets uppity about my jackals use the charge <laughs> how nice I got kale in the discard and you didn't swing with jackals that is a good point I did not I probably should. Oh, you had fiery bolt. I guess you were. I guess odds were better. You'd roll an even, but, and I would. And otherwise, Lennox would not. I was like, you get a fire bolt for Lennox, but no, <laughs> that is fair. 
Yeah, I didn't. I wanted to get the because Lennox does have a 16 AC. I wanted to get the temple out before I threw down. Uh, before I uh, started swinging. Sure. No, that's uh, fair. All right, Bokos is gonna burn loyalty's reward from the discard. Sounds good. No reacts. One, two. <laughs> Throw down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll throw down Swamp Hydra. Cool. Uh, put out. Uh, let's draw with stuff us. Maybe I get these characters, but. Uh, also, you've not used your order. Oh, correct. Yeah, thank you. Um, I'm going to pull Barrow White out of the discard pile just to make a clone real quick to uh, mark when I've used that strike. Sure. Which we will go ahead and do on your spent Gunda. Sure. Another Bokos. Another Bokos. Hmm. I think I will pass. Brenda's going to offer up some beer. All right. Caitlin will take drinks. Glad I didn't do what I thought about doing. We'll play an Enki. Okay. The Wounded Gunda offers up even more drinks. Pour them out. Send N key all the way up. Uh huh. I'm gonna have Boko spend for back alley tavern. Okay. Let's go Swamp Hydra up to two. Mm hmm. I will put a not wait. Got another Swamp Hydra. You. There's that temple. There's that order. Oh. All right. <laughs> Bokos is going to react with Back Alley Tavern. Okay. okay. Two. Um. And I am. Are you casting what you're looking for? Yes, that's what I was going to say. I'm immediately casting it. Okay. Uh... Then... You are good to proceed. Okay. Take two shots at TOL. Yep. There's a hit. There's a hit. Down it goes. That would have been a really bad time for those double ones. <laughs> um, More or less my luck, though. All right. Giant bat. Finally drew some movement. <laughs> you did. <laughs> I will pass. Temple Boy. It's a 
have Barrow White take a shot at Temple of Lore. No, Barrow White is removed from game. Focus on the pick. I will pass out from here on out. Gracchus says hey yeah. in chat. Hey, Gracchus, I thought you were here the whole time. Did you leave and come back? If so, welcome back. All right. Uh, we have too many Bokos. So let's get four charges and kill this one. Torrin. And then we will pitch burn me in to Torrin. Yeah, get that trash out of your hand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that jerk card. Well, it's one of those funny ones where it's like, oh, that's right. I was supposed to run uh, Dragon Sword with the Artax. Oh, yeah. We will grab that just for quick measure. I feel like everybody in the meta should just run Dragon's Horde because, I mean, you know at least one person per tournament is going to be playing Dragons. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we've got the portable hole. Um, do the portable hole once per turn on itself. Think. That's the way that's, that's supposed to work. Draw one. Then Nodwick, portable hole back on. Mm -hmm. And then Giant Bat to the front rank. Oh, wait. No. Hang on. Don't do that quite yet. Bokos uh, will play Loyalty's Reward. Draw two. <laughs> Torin will bend to the back alley that I saw when I peeked with Torin. There you go. Oop, draw one, not two. Then we play Brawl. Reacts for extra hit points. And fourth hit point for my warlord. Hooray! Fifth hit point counting Temple of Lore. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm fourth level. I don't get it. <laughs> no characters over fourth level. Okay, I thought it was fourth level or higher. No, there was a misprint at one point, but uh, okay, it's just generally the one. Um, all right, we will John that guy to the second. We will play another one. <laughs> Unfortunately, it has to be a Nothrog, so I can't give the bonus hit point to the temple. <laughs> that would be pretty good. Um, so we'll give it to the altar. Yep, altar was my thought. Seems like a good choice. Uh, <laughs> and then, then we giant bat front. Uh, Torrin stuns for all falls. Then, because we don't want attack penalty, we portable sacrifice the giant bat to the portable hole and draw. And that has now been used. And then finally, I'll honestly, I always thought portable hole was discard itself to draw a card, not an item. Almost everybody uses the hole, the portable hole itself. Fair enough. Yeah, that's that's pretty much the only way I've seen it. Yeah. All right. So we got plus right. eight plus twelve. Plus ridiculous on Lennox for three. Thirteen plus eighteen for two. Three. Yep. Rapper does one does an extra by herself. Oh yeah. Uh, 
and then because you actually have a deck rather than I do, I will react and look at the top five of your deck. Sure. So that's the part where Wrath gets mean. Because I get to do deck denial. What do you grab? Ah, my dust to dust. Yep. Uh, and then second swing, we will go on Enki. Okay. Got her as well. And there was one card in there worth removing still, so we'll go again. Ah, Lennox, yep. Yeah. Um, That's just those two strikes for you? Just those two strikes, yeah. And okay, then I was done. I actually oh. have an action as well. Yeah, yeah. We'll just do what we can to hold yep. ranks. Yep, and Gunda swings, pop a charge on one of the Hydras, and hits. I will pass. Also, pass. Well, I think we prolonged the inevitable a little bit there. <laughs> it was a lot of meat that you uh, popped out. Oh, I forgot to get, kill Gonda. Oh, well, my bad. Uh, I don't think that's going to make it or break it for you. I was just annoyed at how long it took me to draw my knight. <laughs> Come on, just give me movement. <laughs> oh, just a... Now let's see what you gave me by removing those top, or those two from the top uh, five. Mm -hmm. Let's do dust to dust on Wounded Hydra. Interesting. Well, I want Wrathry to be able to kill you. Uh, counter off a of barrel white. Let's use Caitlin's order. Uh, no reacts. Which is surprising and disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about actually, in hindsight, I probably should just both us and uh, use Bullet Elfers Ward. Yep. You know, the question is, do we try to put two wounds on you or take out the TOL, effectively putting one wound on you? Oh, wait, no, because that's right. It doesn't give you a hit point. So, yeah, we got to take the two shots at you. Sure. There's one. There's another one. There's definitely two hits. Uh, all right, I will swing, Swamp Hydra. Mm hmm? Three wounds. Counting on a one here. <laughs> and then I'm going to get Evoke Crisis to the face. <laughs> Not that we've seen that card in your deck. <laughs> That'll get her. That will. Good game. So I had a uh, dust to dust in hand. And then uh, one okay. more barrel white that I discarded, but I did not clone yet, so I had a uh, two plus twos I could have taken at you with Barrow White, uh, Dust to Dust if you somehow missed both strikes on the Hydra. But yeah, if, uh, I wasn't, if I wasn't swinging, I'd be running away with Portable Hole. Sure. 
Good games, though. Definitely a scary deck. A lot of draw and a little bit of anti-draw in there, too. Yes. Uh, yeah, it, like I said, it's kind of funny. The Burn Me Ins used to be Dragon Hordes, and so that was why Artax is in here, because you sure. the Dragon Hordes and fall forward and shoot. It's just goofy. Um, but I switched, I, yeah, I switched them to Burn, but I kind of create my own meta, I think. Chris, Chris sort of pointed this out, is that once he knew I had ill-gotten gains, which I never saw the entire game sure. Um, against you, once he knew I had this, he's like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to draw with anyone I'm afraid of you punching. So right. he's not going to, he doesn't want to trigger ill-gotten gains, which means he won't trigger burn the end. So it's, it's an interesting trade-off. And obviously, Caitlyn, if casting the spell, gets around the burn because you're not drawing it. Mm-hmm. Anyway, yeah, that was uh, that was a fun match. Yeah, taking both the surges out game one was definitely huge, um, and that oh, definitely yeah. put me on edge game two, playing the Lennox instead of trying to charge up a surge, which is obviously the main goal of the deck. I thought uh, having that yeah. many strikes would be more impactful. You can't obviously uh, dust to dust a um, Lennox and take him out as easily. And I never nope. saw nope. any of my countermeasures. Really just the main thing I run, but I did not see it uh, either game. Would have been okay. helpful. Yep, yep, that would have stopped the dust, definitely. Good games nonetheless. Let's hop over to the giveaway to wrap things up here. All right. For those unfamiliar... Oh, chat looks funky on this. I messed it up a little bit. I'll I'll fix that after the stream. Uh, for those who are unfamiliar with it, we'll have Iceman here roll a d20 on untap. What he oh. uh, rolls is what he'll get. And then, uh, oh, you left it. Perfect. Uh, I'll just roll for you. That's all good. I can, and then we'll I can roll. Back in. Okay. I, I, didn't, I didn't actually realize it was a, a d20. So. No, that's all good. Yeah, I do it a little bit different than Chris. Uh, I don't have a wheel. Oh, what am I doing? I'm in the wrong game. Ah. <laughs> Uh, and then if it you're in moved, chat, now is the time. Oh, weird. Untap moved where the link was, so it jumped me into, into Captain Tony's game. It's really funny. Uh, if you're in chat, right. now is the time to speak up as well uh, to be entered into the uh, viewer giveaway. Forge Cake Iceman won, and he gets a nine, so that is a treasure. Get a wheel of fish to one up, Chris. I love it. I'll have to do that. It is a cloak of protection, level six uh, classless item. It's an armor treasure plus four AC. Uh, pretty straightforward. Not amazing, but I feel like sees at least a minimal amount of play, maybe in very niche decks or formats. What do you yeah. think, Ice Man? Send it your way or add it to the horde? Oh, I'd add it to the horde. Okay. Sounds good. So we got Force Cake, Eagle Ollie, Nash, Zydepunk, Gracchus. We'll roll a D6 and we'll ditch the six. Two. That goes to Forged Cake. I feel like that might be the first time Bobby's won anything on here. Roll a D20. It's a 10. So another treasure. We'll see if it's going to be. I know there's an Axe of Terragoth in here that sees play for dwarves. I don't know what else I have in here for dwarves, but let's see. It's a spell book, like the one thing dwarves don't use. But maybe Loki could use one of these <laughs> to help his uh, casting level a little bit. I'm guessing he'll want to add that to the horde, but uh, Forge Cake, let me know if I am wrong in that assumption. That'll go ahead and wrap things up on the stream. Thanks to Iceman for coming on and playing me. Uh, thanks for the games. To Absolutely. everybody who was in chat and watching, I appreciate you. Um, Gracchus had a sub, I know for sure. If there was one more I'm missing, I apologize. And if you're watching the VOD on YouTube, be sure to like and subscribe for more Warlord content. Mm -hmm.